We've hired over 200 members of the community. We get a sneak peek inside the new Boscov store, an update on the facade project at Stambaugh Auditorium, and a building supply auction company is consolidating in North Lima. This is the Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Just ahead of its three-day grand opening celebration, we got a sneak peek inside the new Boscov's department store at the Eastwood Mall. The store in the former Sears location will open for Charity Day Thursday with shoppers who make a $5 donation allowed to enter the store early. Friday, Boscov's will open to the general public with a ribbon cutting to be held Saturday. We are today the largest family owned, uh, pri privately held family owned chain of department stores with 48 stores, as of tomorrow, 49 stores. This morning, it was the site of the Regional Chamber's Good Morning Niles Breakfast, where owner Jim Boskov gave the keynote address. The first thing that we look for is an opportunity for, for, for a store. There, nobody's building malls these days, um, but in this case, there was a store that was available that was too small for us, but with the help of the Kafaro family, we were able to enlarge it to 185,000 feet, which is what Boskov's needs. It's a big store. Um, so the availability of space is one, but then you certainly look at the at the demographic and make sure that it's the community, it's the kind of community that's going to like you. And from everything we see and from the buzz that I've heard so far, I think it's been a terrific choice for us and we're looking forward to a very, very big opening. Also at the event, Niles Mayor Steve Mankiewicz gave an update on the city's economic development initiatives. One thing um, uh, about two years ago we established was our city's downtown power incentive program and that's for any new business relocating into the downtown area. Um, we do have a radius that we use from the downtown area outward, um, but what this program consists of is a uh, monthly percentage off of their utility statement each month. We'll have more from Jim Boskov in tomorrow's Three Minutes With interview. Paranzino Brothers Auctioneers has purchased a site in North Lima to consolidate operations. Owner Tom Paranzino purchased this 62,000 square foot warehouse and office building at 131 West South Range Road for $1 million. The site will be used to house building supply materials for the company's once a month auctions. Paranzino says they are the largest building supply auction company in the country. And the facade restoration project at Stambaugh Auditorium in Youngstown is on schedule to be completed by the end of the year, and it's getting some help from Premier Bank. On Tuesday, Premier Bank presented Stambaugh executives with a check for $30,000 that will go towards the restoration project. Premier thought it was very important to help such an amazing cause, uh, obviously a historic staple in Youngstown, uh, with Premier slash home savings being a long fixture in Youngstown, we feel the same about the Stambaugh Auditorium, so it was important for us to, to help. You can hear more in the 3 Minutes With interview at businessjournaldaily.com. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.